Hello everyone, my name is Eric, and today I want to discuss the rotation of a cigar. And you are watching Oakland Tobacconist. If you're interested in the Lunatic by Agonorsa or any other Agonorsa stick, go ahead and visit us at oaklandtobacconist.com. Today I'm smoking the El Lojuito Lunatic Perfecto. This cigar is a powerhouse. It always brings me back why I enjoy this cigar so much every time I smoke it. It's almost like I forget how good this cigar is for my palate, and then when I come back to it, I'm like, man, what have I been missing? This is what it is. You go to any cigar shop, and you go to sit amongst cigar smokers, and you've probably heard this many times, some of the school thought of people believe you need to try a bunch of new things, you need to sort of get out of your comfort zone with your palate. Some people that are box buyers, they just, they have their one brand, their one size, and that's all they hunt, that's all they smoke. Then there's, there's a group of people that have a variety, whether it's older reliables or new stuff, they kind of have it all in the mix. Some point in someone's life, everyone's been asked that question, what music do you like to listen to? And normally, uh, there is a response of several genres that are given, or there's the response of, I like a whole bunch of different stuff. I like classic rock, I like punk, I like rap, I like all these different things, classic music. The, tr the same is true, I believe, of cigars. Wherever on the fence that you lie on that answer, it is true that people have favorites or they have cigars that they like to enjoy more than once or that it's something they can always be, you know, I can always count upon this or I really enjoy this. Even if it's for someone like myself, I like to try new stuff. I like to see what's new on the market, what's coming out of Nicaragua, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, etc. However, I do fall into that category of creating a cigar rotation. That is having a set amount of cigars that you know that you want to enjoy either throughout the week, throughout the month, or throughout the year. Either way, as that lands, you have a cigar you really enjoy, you want to try it again. You want to have that cigar in your humidor. So you know, if you're having that kind of day at work where just you need a cigar, or you're having that great uh, weekend or that lazy day, you know what, you're just in the mood for something special. You like to go to your humidor, pick out that cigar, and you know that it's ready to be smoked and it's in that humidor and you have it on hand. That is creating your own cigar collection and cigar rotation. A lot of what we do here at OGT is cultivating what rotation that is and even having the ability to let those sit longer to see if that rotation cigar is gonna taste any different as time lapses. The lunatic that I'm smoking today is from Agonorsa. I know for, my, for a fact that I love Agonorsa tobacco, I love the blending style, I love the history behind it, the story behind it, and the flavors that come with it. Agonorsa is one of those sticks that I like to have in my rotation. It may not always be the lunatic, it could be the guardian of the farm, the El Supremo, Mexican San Andreas, my blue heaven. One of those sticks normally I like to have in my rotation. And probably the reason the, the, the concept of a cigar rotation has been so more prevalent and more talked about now is because that is where cigars are shifting. In the, during the boom in the early 90s when you had a lot of quality issues or, or uh, detail issues, then you could only rely on one brand. You didn't really necessarily want to try new stuff and be like, you know what, I want this stocked in my humidor. So when I'm giving it to friends who also enjoy cigars, they can actually enjoy the smoke and not be put off by the thing exploding on me or having patches on it or draw issues, all these other things. Well, now the cigar industry has shifted. We have a lot of fantastic boutique blends, boutique companies that have now arrived. These are cigars you do want your in rotation. Almost if you think of your humidor as like an arsenal and what kind of weapons you're gonna have stocked in there for your palate, that is exactly where the industry is going. You've probably heard it all as well. When you have a cigar, whether you loved it or didn't care much for it, try it more than once because maybe it does deserve in your rotation. And a lot of boutique owners, you'll probably hear them say this, is that they don't need to create the cigar that you love that will take over your palate and that's the only thing you smoke. They just want a place in your rotation, in your humidor. And honestly, the more that you try and the more that you seek out, you're gonna find those cigars that deserve to be in your humidor, that deserve to be smoked, and they're a part of your cigar rotation. I would love to hear from you. Drop in the comments what you enjoy, what brands or cigars that you have on that regular, weekly, or monthly, or yearly basis that you know that you can count on, that you love having in your humidor. Drop them down in the comments. I would love to hear about them. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Once again, thank you for smoking along with me. This is Eric at Oakland Tobacconist.